Hey, good morning again. Um, my name is Xiaoning Jen from NC State. Uh, this is a collaborative work with uh, Dr. Karina Galaby uh, from UNC Chapel Hill. Uh, we also work on the dual frequency IVA transducer for uh, RV imaging. It will go uh, over the background information and then come to the design, fabrication, and characterization of this uh, um, uh, dual frequency IVA transducer. Uh, we'll also uh, report our uh, uh, initial RFE uh, testing results and uh, then come to the uh, conclusion. And this is a background uh, many of us uh, went through already. Uh, basically, the idea is we want to uh, look at some of the vulnerable plaques like this. Uh, you have a uh, uh, thin uh, uh, fibrous uh, um, you know, cap uh, wrapped with this um, uh, chronic uh, core. So that uh, uh, is uh, uh, one of the uh, major cause of this, uh, a lot of the mortality in the coronary disease. And uh, there are, you know, have uh, uh, been here, uh, we, we saw a lot of this uh, uh, IVAS related uh, imaging. Um, you know, uh, give a few examples here. The first one, of course, is still use a lot of this X-ray angiography. Uh, that's uh, basically the projection um, um, morphology information. And more IVAS is the one we have been uh, using that uh, for the last 20, 30 years already. And there are a lot of more coming in, uh, namely those uh, um, you know, OCT um, IVAS combined. And uh, you have this uh, uh, photoacoustic or IVPA. And uh, uh, there are also some of the work we, we have uh, uh, seen uh, today on this acoustic uh, radiation force impulse imaging of the IVAS. So uh, with the uh, uh, car and, uh, and, and the 10, the uh, already uh, presented um, with the uh, um, you know, acoustic radiation force, uh, we look at that, the attenuation, acoustic intensity, and the, the uh, speed of sound in the medium. Uh, this, uh, you know, by detecting or tracking this uh, uh, tissue uh, displacement, um, then uh, we should be able to uh, have some information about the tissue elastic um, properties. And uh, my collaborator, uh, Dr. Uh, Galibi, had uh, uh, worked on this a lot, uh, many on the carotid, uh, carotid artery, artery uh, um, plaque characterization. Uh, but that is, um, she, uh, you know, another student, Tomek, um, you know, published recently on this. This is a, uh, a in vivo um, RP plaque characterization results of a 57-year-old um, man. Uh, if you look at uh, uh, with this, uh, the first image here, you can see uh, there are some uh, small these uh, plaques can seen with uh, 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 you know the conventional B mode image. But if you apply this uh, RF image on, you can clearly see the uh, uh, the plaque uh, elastic information. So that uh, uh, has been uh, very successful. And but. The question is, can we apply that to a uh, intravascular um, RFE? Uh, it's a, it's a uh, similar uh, you know, concept. And uh, it's, we know that the, uh, the, the transcutaneous RFE, RFE and the ice has been uh, successful. Uh, some of the commercial tools probably have uh, seen uh, some of the function of the RFE uh, imaging. And then if we uh, consider with the last two uh, presentations, we look at this uh, IVAS. If you apply that uh, RFE there, the first first challenge will be, you know, we look at the uh, uh, transducer design uh, challenge. The first one, conventional IVAS, we saw that, you know, the array at about 20 megahertz, you get a single element 40, 45, 50, and some of them may uh, go to 60 megahertz. And that high frequency um, might not be very efficient in, uh, in, uh, in RFE. Basically, you need a you need, you need pushing and tracking. Um, so the idea is we want to uh, um, look at those uh, requirements and to see um, uh, what kind of uh, uh, IVA transducer uh, we can make. Basically, the idea here we put down this, you know, similar like what the, uh, Dr. Ma and the car uh, presented. I uh, want to have a dual frequency, low frequency as a pushing transducer, and then the high frequency at the front will receive uh, as the uh, as the tracking uh, displacement tracking. This is the basic design, similar to our uh, um, acoustic angiography or superharmonic imaging. Uh, we put this uh, uh, the uh, high frequency uh, receiving or tracking layer here, and between them uh, we have uh, isolation layer, 
and then the bottom is a low frequency uh, pushing uh, transducer. And the idea is we want to have this uh, in the, in the, in the between the, the the push and track. We want to have this isolation layer designed because we you know we 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 don't want that the high frequency um, uh, displacement tracking information get into the uh, you know, tracking transducer to cause a lot of rings. Um, that's uh, the idea similar to our superharmonic energy. And this is the uh, uh, the the initial design uh, parameters with the uh, pushing transducer. We put uh, 6.5 megahertz, and how we get that? Car has uh, presented very detail in the uh, simulation there. But we uh, got many from the Galapagos uh, group their experience with the uh, transcontainers RFE, and the the the, the tracking uh, layer we put down close to uh, uh, 30 megahertz uh, for the current uh, prototype. And the material, we just use the PMPT material, it's not composite in this case, just for quick uh, demonstration. And uh, with the matching and uh, uh, isolation layer design, uh, you can see here. With those parameters, we'll be able to, uh, first thing we, we do the pulse cycle uh, test um, as a, for the receiving uh, to look at, uh, um, you know, check the, uh, the, the bandwidth and the central frequency for this uh, high frequency tracking um, transducer. Also, uh, uh, look at this uh, uh, pushing transducer. Look at the transmitting uh, sensitivity uh, in terms of uh, um, you know acoustic pressure per uh, per uh, voltage. I can see you know with uh, 28 megahertz, close to 30 megahertz uh, tracking, uh, the, the bandwidth um, you know with uh, it's about 41 percent, and with the transmitting sensitivity uh, at the 6.5 megahertz, uh, we get a decent uh, transmitting sensitivity here. It's about uh, 38 uh, kilopascal per uh, volt, and then uh, we, um, the, you know, we we did that after the simulation. Uh, we did this uh, uh, prototyping. Um, we shoot for this is the, uh, for the three French uh, catheter integration. Uh, we look at the uh, electric impedance of the, the 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 pushing transducer and the receiving transducer, and the next thing we uh, we did is uh, again we check the uh, pulse cycle of the prototyped. Uh, uh, the tracking frequency uh, is similar to our simulation, about 26 megahertz, and our bandwidth is about 47%. And the pushing, we just push 5 volt, 10 cycle uh, excitation to get about 233 kilopascal at a distance of 5 uh, millimeter. And for this uh, uh, um, radiation force test, we did is, um, um, you know, we uh, um, build a phantom. Um, here is about 10 uh, kilopascal elastic uh, uh, modulus, and uh, we uh, put this in a in a in a in a in a, in a uh, uh, with a hole here with a uh, water coupling here, and uh, uh, we drive this uh, uh, low frequency and uh, uh, with a uh, number of cycles, and then uh, we track this uh, uh, phantom um, uh, displacement using this uh, 20 megahertz uh, you know tracking transducer at the top. And this is uh, a slide to show we said the uh, um, uh, 10 uh, kilopascal uh, phantom. Uh, we were to uh, we drive them at 160 volt, of course, with a lot of cycles. And uh, uh, at the uh, actual distance, about uh, 3.5 millimeter. And we were able to track this uh, peak displacement about the 12 uh, micro micrometer. Um, so that uh, um, is, uh, to us um, uh, is uh, very uh, promising. And uh, uh, what the next step. Um, it's something similar like a, uh, Dr. Ma already presented. Uh, we, with this dual frequency transducer, we'll do a lot more uh, phantom imaging and ex vivo and in vivo study. Uh, with that, the uh, uh, conclusion, uh, we're able to apply the dual frequency um, IVAS transducer for the RFE um, uh, test. And uh, we see the, uh, uh, the pushing transducer was able to uh, push the tissue uh, phantom. Um, and the, with the, the, the tracking transducer detected the displacement um, uh, with the 10 kilopascal uh, phantom, uh, with the displacement about uh, 12 uh, micron, um, that, that's uh, something that we're happy to see uh, as the initial test. And with that, we will stop here. Thank you. <laughs>